you know, sir. I uh, want to give him my notice, Mr. Pelham. It's the pigs, isn't it? You don't like the pigs? No, no, it ain't the pigs, Mr. Pelham. It's, it's my bleeding back. <laughs> They're good natured at heart. They aren't pigs, you know. It isn't the pigs. They're very clean beneath all that smell and dirt. <laughs> It ain't the pigs, Mr. Pelham. It's honest, Gov. It's my back. It's gone. It's bleeding well gone. You like my pigs, do you? Oh, I adore Mr. Pig. I like all pigs, but I adore yours. You're sorry to see you go, old son. You've really been prepared to muck in. I see, I spend most of the time mucking out. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> you know, darling, I'm not actually qualified for any of the jobs in this paper. I'm not young, I'm not eager, I'm not dynamic. I don't speak nine languages. I don't have a wide experience of the Persian Gulf or the drilling of boreholes. I don't have a deep commitment to man-made fibres, and I certainly don't have five years' experience of practical midwifery. <laughs> More coffee, darling. Coffee, yes, yes, please. Oh, yes, why not? May as well try and keep breakfast going till lunchtime. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> Uh, what are we having for lunch, Dolly? Walnut fritters. Ah, lovely, lovely. Well, we can't afford meat with no money all coming right, in. All right, don't sound so accusing, darling. It's not my fault CJ gave me the sack. It's not my fault I'm allergic to pigs, either. <laughs> They're not very nice to know, you know. They're nasty, greedy, squealing, pink little monsters. Incidentally, it's about time we went to see your mother, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, please, please don't worry about mummy. We'll, 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 um... We'll sell something. Yes, we'll sell, um, uh, we'll, um, we'll sell Dr. Snurd's pictures of the Algarve. Eh? What would we do with a whole pound? The whole pound, the woman jest. We get more than that. Good heavens, Dr. Snurd may be a lousy dentist, darling, but he's got a rising reputation in the art world. Who told you that? Dr. Snurd. <laughs> he was the hit of the dental art exhibition. He's the Picasso of the mowers. Uh, don't be silly. It's no good. I'll have to go out to work. No, darling, I don't want you to work. No, why shouldn't I work? Women do work. Yes, of course I know that, darling. Yes, I, yes, I'm aware of that. I don't mind the idea of women working. I, I think women have a right to work. I think women ought to work. I just don't want you to work. Why not, Reggie? Well, it's, I, I just don't like the idea of you, of you supporting me. I don't want you to work when I'm out of work. When I'm not out of work, when I'm in work, fine. Then you can go out of work. But I don't need to work. <laughs> Yeah, good, exactly. Yes, that's settled. Fine. <laughs> anyway, darling, please don't worry. I'm bound to get a job sooner or later. After all, I have applied for 130. And how many replies did you get? Twelve's not bad. <laughs> and how many of those rejected you outright? Only ten. I thought the other two were very promising. On the first one, I got on a short list of six. Admittedly, I didn't get the job. I mean, on, the, on, the, on the other one, I mean, I did much better, didn't I? I got on a short list of one. But you still didn't get it. <laughs> Ah, there they are, the postman cometh. Ah, darling, perhaps this morning will bring something better. And it's, ah, now then, here we are. Oh, one to five letters. Yes, my luck's beginning to change, darling. I can feel it in my bones. Right. Now, let's see what we have here. Ah. Dear sir, there's, uh, they're sorry. Oh. <laughs> Dear sir, thank you for that. They're very sorry. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, sir, thank you for your celebration. They're extremely sorry. How nice. Yes, sir, thank you for this. Yes, sir, I'm going to take a step back. Yes, sir, I'm going to take a step back. Yes, sir, I'm going to take a step back. Yes, sir, I'm going to take a step back. Yes, sir, I'm going to take a step back. Yes, sir, I'm going to take a step back. Yes, sir, I'm going to take a step back. Unfortunately, you have no previous experience in rubber goods. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, is it I? Uh, I think that's very promising. I mean, uh, that sounds as though they might have given me the job if I had had previous experience in rubber goods. Reggie, you've got to face the facts. Nobody is going to offer you a job. Please don't be so discouraged, darling. One left. I mean, this could be the one. Keep your fingers crossed. You never know. There you are. What did I tell you? Wonderful. Our problems are over. There's a giant carpet sale tomorrow at Hornchurch. Let's go to Hornchurch and buy a giant carpet. <laughs> patient through very difficult circumstances, but my patience is now exhausted. If you don't get a job by the end of the week, I'm going out to work. <laughs> I 
I'm looking for. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. oh, good morning. Good morning. I'm, uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking for a job. Name? Uh, Perrin, yes. I spent most of my life in middle management, but for the last 20 years I've been... Uh, Christian name. Uh, I've been uh, Reginald Alanthe. I've been with Sunshine Desserts, the instant pudding people. And now I'm looking for something a little... A dress? Uh, looking for look, 12 Coleridge clothes. Looking for something a little more stimulating and fulfilling. Age? Yes. Uh, something a little more vibrant <laughs> and exciting. Uh, Age? Age, yes, age, age. Oh, yes, as to age, yes, I'm uh, uh, not quite... Uh, th um, that's approximately, I uh, know, 47. Um, <laughs> you know, I want a Monday to Friday job, and if, if, if a company car was thrown in that, of course, it would be very nice. And I, I was thinking in terms of something local. I don't uh, want to commute anymore. Yes. What? Qualifications. Oh, yes, yes, the... Yeah. Um, uh, the, 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 uh, yes, uh, the, um, the, 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 the Nutley Park the Nutley Court, Park. under 16 prize for woodwork, <laughs> and the, uh, <laughs> first aid certificate from the Scouts, uh, that's the West Ealing bar. Uh, well, when I say vibrant and exciting, it doesn't have to be all that vibrant and exciting. Why did you leave Sunshine Desserts? Uh, I was sacked. <laughs> no, no, say, I, I don't want to commute. I'm prepared to travel a small distance, of course. Why were you sacked? Well, I, I sort of staged a fake suicide and, and came back. Uh... <laughs> so, guys, as my long-lost friend from the, the company car isn't absolutely essential, and I'm prepared to work with you. What other jobs have you done? Uh, yes, I've been connected with pig farming. Oh. In a in a in a in a swilling out pigs connection. <laughs> and, uh, when I say local, I'm prepared to travel ten miles, twenty miles. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I see I haven't been on the blur just lately. Thirty miles, forty miles, as long as it isn't abroad. Well, we're not very far abroad. And the managing director's job at Shell Mex was snapped up rather quickly. If anything crops up in Australia, I am prepared to consider it. <laughs> Mr. Pelham is the, is the is the owner of the, of the pig factory. I'll be back this afternoon at 2.30 if you can get him. Climthorpe 7532. I can just get the 11.50 you trade. Excuse me. Yeah. They're glad to see you back, old son. They missed you. The feel is mutual, Mr. P. <laughs> I just won't take it from young lads who are still wet behind the ears. I don't expect I'd take it from young lads who are still wet behind the ears if I was a pig. <laughs> They're lovely creatures, right? Yes, they're the governors, Mr. P. You can get very fond of them. You certainly can. All those pork chops. All that and smoked streaky. I'll tell you something, Reg, I think it'll be sweet music in your ears. What's that, Mr. Pete? You could have a great career in pigs. I'm so sorry I'm late. Chain reaction to a buckled rail at West Byfleet. Do sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie warned you about the chairs, eh? No need to worry. These are new. Japanese. Small but silent. <laughs> there you are, you see. It takes our bum-squatting legs cross chums to design a decent chair. Ironic. Certainly is, CJ. Hey, I, um, I expect you're wondering why I asked you here. Yes, I am, Arthur. We live in a competitive world. There is no room for broken reeds, lame ducks or stool pigeons. Oh, certainly isn't, CJ. I didn't get where I am today making room for broken reeds, lame ducks or stool pigeons. No, I'm sure you didn't. How is Reggie? <laughs> <laughs> He's swilling out pigs. Industry's loss is the porker's gain. <laughs> You know, I sometimes wonder, Elizabeth, if we here at Sunshine Desserts may have contributed very slightly to some of Reggie's problems. How will you manage? Well, I shall have to go out to work. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a very personal question? Not at all. Can you type? Oh, well, I used to. I'm a bit rusty. Splendid. Now I can offer you a job, Elizabeth, starting Monday week. Well, I, I don't think Reggie would like the idea of my working at Sunshine Desserts. Then don't tell him. What the eye doesn't see is goose for the gander. <laughs> Madam, send for them at once, please. I can offer you the job of secretary to our Mr. Webster and his assistant, our Mr. Harris Jones. Oh, yes, the yes man. What was that? Oh, Reggie told me about them. One keeps saying super and the others keep saying great. Nonsense. Why should they do that? 
Oh, I suppose they're little phrases they've dropped into out of habit. Nonsense. We don't drop into little phrases out of habit at Sunshine Desserts. Neither Mrs. C.J. nor I has ever dropped into a little phrase out of habit. Come! <coughs> <coughs> Ah, there you are, Tony, David, I expect you know Elizabeth, Reggie Perrin's wife. She's going to work for you. Great. Super. <laughs> you can't beat red cabbage with pork ulcer. You certainly can't, Mr. Pete. Its favourite is red cabbage. And nobody makes red cabbage like my old Dutch. <laughs> Bit of crackling. You can't beat it, Reg. Oh, you certainly can't. My old Dutch makes crackling, crackling. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Oh, has gone. What's gone? Uh, uh, back, Mr. T. God, it really has gone this time. What do you mean, really has gone this time? Uh, well, you know that time when I told you my back had gone? Yeah. When I said, uh, I'll be back's gone? Yeah. Well, it had gone. Yeah. But now it's been and gone and gone again. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Did you have a nice day at the piggery? No. Oh, good. Now, darling, you're not listening. I said I didn't have a nice day at the piggery. Oh, dear, why not? Because I smell of pig droppings, I'm knackered, my back's gone. <laughs> Which is why I'm doubled up as you noticed the moment I walked into the room. Oh, where is she? Darling! Oh, hello, darling! Oh, that's funny. Oh, hello, darling. Hello, darling. Have a nice day. Oh, hello, darling. Hello, darling. Do you have a nice day at the piggery? No. Oh, good. Oh, no, darling, I'm not listening. I said I didn't have a nice day at the piggery. Oh, dear, why not? Because I smell of pig droppings, I'm knackered, my back has gone, which you'll notice the moment I walk through the room. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, but I was thinking about my news. And I'm in agony, I'm on the dole, my life is in ruins, and uh, what news? I've got a job. Oh? Uh, yes, oh. I'm a typist. Oh, uh, so I'm out of a job, you're in one. Oh, I'm a kept man. My role as the dominant male is threatened. <laughs> I'm an economic unit. Actually, I'm quite looking forward to work. Oh. Well, I hope it's somewhat a little pleasanter than sunshine dessert. Sunshine desserts? Oh, yes, yes. It's, it's much pleasanter than sunshine desserts. If I told you how different it was from sunshine desserts, you'd never believe me. I might. Who are they? Who? Who are they? Who are you working for? Who are they? Oh, you wouldn't have heard of them. Of course I'd have heard of them, darling. I'm a man of business. I've heard of everybody. Of course I'd have heard of them. Who are they? Um, British Basket Company. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of them. <laughs> And off you go then, darling. Mustn't be late your first day. Besides, I want to get down the shops before the crowds. <laughs> Umbrella. Thank you, darling. Handbag. Thank you, darling. Mirror. Oh, yes. Have a nice day at the office. I won't. Mm. <laughs> the hills are alive. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't hear you with the hoovering, darling. Mm. Have a nice day at the office. No. Oh. What's for supper? Risotto. Lovely. Yeah. Well, ah, what's the uh, British Basket Company like? I suppose, well, I've been slaving over a hot stove. You've been luxuriating in plush offices with air conditioning and restrooms and canteens, eh? And it's a horrid, pokey little rabbit, Warren. Mm. And what do you do? Oh, I type letters all day about our waste paper baskets. Most of which will probably end up by being thrown straight into our waste paper baskets. And what's your boss like? Um, he's an um, ex heavyweight boxer, hmm? uh, a Scottish Hungarian. His mother comes from Arbroath and uh, his father comes from Budapest. He has a wooden leg, <laughs> drinks like a fish. <laughs> Sounds a lot more interesting than sunshine dessert, darling. <laughs> well, I can't sit here gossiping, I have things to do. Oh, we must get new covers for these, darling. Ah, 
there, darling. Nice day at the office. No. Uh, What's for supper? Uh, risotto. Oh, lovely. <sighs> What's on the telly tonight? Uh, oh, nothing much or anything, darling. I think it's a repeat of that series they repeated last year. <laughs> you, you don't want to watch the telly, do you, darling? Well, I'm tired. I've been out to work. Yes, of course you have. Oh, yes, I got your drink ready for you. There you are. <laughs> 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 Do you know, darling, it's strange. There's no mention of the British Basket Company in the phone book. Uh, no, they, they left it out. Ah. They mixed it up with the other BBC. Uh. Mr Steele was furious. Yes, I could imagine, yes. Or in the yellow pages. Well, they left it out of there, too. Uh. You are telling me the truth about your work, aren't you, darling? Of course I'm telling yes, you the truth. Why should I lie yes, about it? Of course, it? why should you? <laughs> no possible reason. No possible reason at all. Absolutely not stupid of me. <laughs> You're not lying, you darling. No. Not even a little bit. No. She's lying. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, just finished, darling. <laughs> uh, have a nice day at the um, have a nice day at the office, darling. No. Oh. Oh, Tom and um, Tom and Linda phoned, darling. They uh, they wanted to come round, so uh, so I thought uh, better ask them round for supper. Oh, huh? yeah. oh how nice! And what uh, what little treat are you giving them? I thought risotto. Oh. <laughs> well, we're not having risotto too much, are we, darling? No, no, no. Well, perhaps slightly too much, oh. but it's so nice that I don't want to tire of it. Yes, it is nice, isn't it? Yes. Well, perhaps nice isn't exactly the word I'd use. Ah, ah well, well, what is exactly the word you'd use, darling? Unusual is exactly the word I'd ah, use. Unusual, right, right. Oh, it'll go with Tom's wine, then, won't it? Oh, maybe he <laughs> won't bring any. Yes, there's always hope. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid we're about due for the turnip again. <laughs> Do you know, darling, it is odd, but they've never heard of the British Basket Company at the Climthorpe Basket Boutique. Really? Mm. Mm. That is odd. Isn't it? Yes, they wouldn't have done, would they? Because it's not in the phone book or the yellow paper. Oh. <laughs> I'll go. Yes. Saved by the bell, darling. <laughs> oh, hello, Tom. Hello, Linda. Hello, Mum. Oh, lovely wine. What a surprise. Turn it. <laughs> Look, Tom's bought us some turn it. Oh, wine. what a lovely surprise. Hello, Dad. Hello, darling. Oh. Oh, thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> oh, what a shame. It's corked. Well, of course it smells of cork if you smell the cork. I don't believe in all that anyway. I'm not a cork person. Who is? <laughs> there we are, Linda. Thanks, uh, Dad. Darling. And for you. Tom. Mm. You'd like a drop, would you? There we are. <laughs> uh, uh, and some for Edge. Uh, <laughs> uh, cheers. 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 Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Oh, do you know, Tom, I think that's the best wine you've ever made. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I think it's time we stop being rude about Tom's uh, wine. I quite agree. It's about Tom... Oh, yes, 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 quite... We must also... A pound fine for the next person who's rude about Tom's wine. And that's more than the wine's worth. A pound? <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. I've never heard of this British basket company of yours, but then I'm not a basket person. <laughs> who is? Well, yes, there's a basket manufacturer who goes to our sauna, and he's never heard of it either. No, oh. oh, well, it's a very small company. Mm. We only make very small baskets. Oh. Still, we didn't come here to talk about baskets, did we, Lindy Squirts? My name isn't Lindy Squirts, Tom. Oh, I'm sorry, Floppy Squirts. <laughs> we came here for a reason. Mm -hmm. Apart from the fact that it's nice to come here. Which, of course, it is. Oh, spit it out. Too late, I've drunk it. A pound! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I made this rule, I'll tell you. You see, Reggie, I'm no snob, no. but I don't like the idea of Linda's father alternating between a dole and a piggery. No, would you believe it? It does Linda's father. Mm, well, I know that you think being an estate agent's a boring job. No, no, not at all. Not half as boring as swilling out pigs, I can assure uh, you. Well, I was thinking that I might just be able to take you on... I accept a... with pleasure, Tom. Thank you very much. Oh, oh that is nice of you. Yes, Tom. yes, I'll start tomorrow. Well, I, I'm afraid tomorrow I'm seeing rather an important client. That's all right, I don't mind. Uh, cheers. Thank you very much. Oh, you're good. Tom, uh, where do you get your turnips? Henley. Mm, they don't travel, do they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the last of my housekeeping. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. I'm prepared to offer you 38 pounds. Oh, good, good, lovely. Oh, well, uh, 38,500. What? What? 
I'll offer 38,500. 39,000. 40. 41,000. 42, that's my last offer. This is ridiculous. What on earth did you do that I for? I mean, after I've taken the trouble to offer you a yes, job. I'm I don't expect thanks. I'm not a thanks yes, I'm, person. I'm sorry, Tom. I just couldn't help it. It's so nice. You see, I want to, want to move. I want to get away. Yeah, but, but estate agents don't outbid their clients. I, I, I mean, it's, it's the ethical equivalent of a, of a, of a doctor yes, making love to his patients. I realise that, Tom. I just couldn't resist it. I want to make a new start, you see. Well, you're going to have to. You're sacked. I'm sorry, Reggie. Uh, don't worry, Tom. Much better prospects are opening up for me anyway. Well, this time it's got to be for keeps or something. Oh, really, Chief? Honest. They find you. Really? They've been quite sickly. They haven't been themselves at all. So, you'll soon have them back on form, now, eh? It's on the cavall of the troughs, Mr. P. Pigs are conservative creatures, Reg. They don't like change. I never knew there was so much to pigs. People don't, old son. You'd be surprised. People don't. That's a pig ignorant. Pig ignorant. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I like it. Pig ignorant. Come on, piggy wiggy, swill time. Uncle Reggie's back. It's very private here. The Sunshine Desserts crowd haven't caught on to it yet. Oh, uh, there's David and the girl over there. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Hello, David. Nice place. Super see, Jack. <laughs> Perhaps one or two of them have found it. Oh, look. Hey, there's Tony and Joan over there. What? Huh? Uh, well, Tony, Joan, nice place. Lovely. Great. <laughs> You are a beautiful woman, Elizabeth. Oh, thank you, CJ. Reggie doesn't appreciate how fortunate he is. Thank you, CJ. Look at them. Large lunches, too much wine, erotic thoughts, hanky-panky. <laughs> I don't like it, and I never will. The nation can't afford it. The International Monetary Fund would take a very dim view. More wine. Thank you. I didn't get where I am today indulging in hanky-panky. I'm sure you didn't, Sir Jay. I've got some papers at home that need sorting. Would you like to come over and help me with them sometime? Certainly. Saturday. Saturday? I don't like the idea of your working on a Saturday. Well, I don't like the idea of me working on a Saturday. But Mr. Pardo's just got to have this work done. Bye-bye, mm. darling. All right, darling. Bye-bye. Yeah. I, 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 uh, Pardo? I thought you said your boss's name was Steele. Oh, he's lending me to Mr. Pardo. Makes you sound like a library book, darling. <laughs> Pardo Steele. Pardo Steele are the names of the Liberal Party leaders. She's making them up. <laughs> a Freudian slip. A Clement Freudian slip. <laughs> Oh, she's not making them. Why should she? Well, anybody can make a mistake over a name. In any case, why should she be making them? No reason for her to lie, is there? She's having an affair. That's why she's lying. <laughs> Man with a wooden leg from our bro who drinks like a fish indeed. <laughs> British basket company. The whole thing's a load of baskets. No. <laughs> God, how could she do it? To... No, of course not. She's the most wonderful wife in the world and she's working. Working on a Saturday for me. Rubbish, she's not working. <laughs> I can see them now drinking like fishes from our broth. Him mouthing endearments in his Scottish-Hungarian accent. She's stroking his wooden leg. <laughs> no! No, he hasn't got a wooden leg. She made that up. He's young, handsome, virile. All the things I always wanted. All the things I always... All the things I am and more. <laughs> God, how could she do it? No, of course not. She's not that kind of person. Neither am I, they didn't stop me. <laughs> Come along in. Do sit down. So good of you to come. Oh, that's all right. Uh, where are these papers that need sorting, CJ? In a minute. Well, here we are. Yes. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Champagne. Champagne? Why not? Oh, my God. 
He hasn't got me here to have an affair, has he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Ah, well, here we are. Yes, here we are. He wouldn't have an affair with anyone. Not even Mrs. C.J. <laughs> Would he? Uh, wet, isn't it? Mm. What, the champagne? No, the weather. Ah, yes, the weather. Mm. The champagne's dry and the weather's wet. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Nasty for them. Uh, nasty for whom? Oh, I don't know. Just nasty for them. Nasty for those people for whom it's nasty, I suppose, because it's wet. <laughs> More champagne? Uh, no, thank you. Very wise. <laughs> um, what about the papers that need sorting, CJ? No, honey. First things first. Oh, my God. Um, where's Mrs. CJ? Luxembourg. Oh, my God. Uh, how long will she be away? Five weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> my friends call me Bunny. <laughs> And here we are. Yes, here we are, CJ... Bunny. I'm in a bit of a hurry, Bunny. <laughs> Can't we get straight down to it? Yes, let's... Oh, oh. Yes, let's get straight down to it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's get straight down to it. We'll start with the top one, shall we? <clears throat> Hello, darling. You've been late. Oh, all right, wait a minute. Umbrella, darling. Handbag, darling. Darling, give my love to Mr. Pardo, Mr. Steele, and any other members of the Liberal Party who happen to be present. <laughs> and if any of them ask you to drink like a fish again or work again on a Saturday, you can tell them to shove that Arbroath wooden legs up their Hungarian basket. <laughs> Umbrella, darling. Thank you, darling. Handbag, darling. Thank you, darling. Darling. Mm -hmm. Have a good day at the office. I won't. Have a good day at the piggery. I won't. <laughs> Certainly won't have a good day at the piggery because I am not going anywhere near the piggery. I am going to go somewhere completely different. Right. Soon see about that. Hello, Pelham's Piggeries. May I speak to Mr. Mr. <clears throat> Uh, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pelham, please. It's uh, Reg here. Reg, yeah, a bit of a cross line there, Mr. P. I was wondering, Mr. P, if I could, oh my God, if I could possibly have the day off. Yes, it's my aunt, Lee. She's not. Uh, yeah, she's under the. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, oh, very kind of Mr. P. Right. And I'll see you. Oh, right. What? Without pay. Right, Mr. P. Oh, and Mr. P, give my love to the porkers. <laughs> right, I'll soon see what the truth is about this job she's taking. Right, Cyril Smith, here I come. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Perry. <laughs> 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 My God, of course, that's who she was with on Saturday. I didn't get where I am today without knowing sunshine desserts when I see it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 